Mr. Judeen, uh, one argument of the proponents of the, of the mandate have used to justify this infringement of religious freedom is that the polls show that a, a majority of Americans are in favor of access to birth control. Uh, but setting aside the flawed logic necessary to go from favoring access to some forms of birth control to mandating coverage of abortive patients uh, in a republic, public opinion cannot or should not trump constitutional rights. And it seems a, a patently false and deceptive rhetorical gimmick for the president to portray this debate as one over access to contraceptives. So under our Constitution, simply because there's a majority that might want to access, uh, is there can this trump the constitutional right of freedom of religion? And aren't we really talking about something that would force people uh, to go against their conscience and actually pay for something for others? Absolutely. Our constitution is based, our constitutional and religious liberties are based on the on a protection of the minority views. Um, and that's, that's the, the premise of them. And in this case, that's exactly what's happening. There's a need to protect the minority view. Um, I mean, I should note that the majority doesn't trump the minority, and the minority doesn't trump the majority. Each is, should be capable of being able to practice their religion as they see fit.